Orient is in turmoil after the Militazi invasion has left Rubrum in bloody tatters. But with the help of Class Zero, the Dominion has liberated its capital, and Rubrum's Consortium of Eight has approved Operation Retaliate. Rubrum is not in this alone. All of Orients must confront this challenge. Just deploy the cadets. The Consortium has authorized a large-scale counterattack. All battle-ready cadets will participate in this campaign. Show them the power of Agito cadets. The deployment of Class Zero to the Outlands of Togolev gave us an opportunity to observe the cadets in battle. First out into battle, as always, is Seven. Wielding a whip blade, Seven prefers action to talk and can be counted on to get to work immediately. With his unique cards weaponry, Cool-Headed Ace can deliver killer blows from a distance. The huge scythe is the weapon of choice for Sice. Powerful and deadly, Sice doesn't suffer fools and takes no prisoners. Dual handgun wielding cadet King is a man of few words. Rock and roll! He lets his fighting style do the talking. The mild mannered and hard working Deuce can heal with the power of her flute and strengthen her allies to even greater ability. Brandishing his lethal bow, Trey is calm and collected in battle, rarely showing a weakness. With her heavy and unwieldy mace, Sank wreaks havoc while showing the enemy no mercy. After mounting defeats, the Imperial Army have been forced to pull back, and with Togareth in Dominion control, the northern eastern borders are once again secure, thanks to the courage and power of the elite combat force, Class Zero.